Hello, friend. Hey, friends. Like most Minnesotans, I think, we have cabin fever. <laughs> I have cabin fever. You maybe have less cabin fever than I do. Because you get out more than I do. But I have cabin fever. So we are literally driving around the back roads today. Evening grouse beak, which I've never seen before. Have you seen it before? I've never there seen it before. Bunch of them. And there were tons of them, weren't there? Yeah, there Almost were Almost 30 of them. I like the birds. <laughs> and I like the looking too. That's part of the fun. I always think around this next corner, or over this hill, or at this clearing, I'm totally gonna see something. I always think that. Darren is the glass half full guy in this partnership. We're headed to the Admiral Road Feeders, and we're gonna have lunch there. The birds that we wanted to see showed up. So, no, no, no rest slash no lunch for the wicked. We're excited because Aaron is getting photos of male pine gross beaks, which we've seen three or four times, but they've eluded us in getting a great photo. And she's in the process of getting great photos. Too. That's cool, isn't it? I've been trying to figure out what's in the top of this tree for right probably there. 20 minutes. Easily. There's stuff flitting up there. You can barely see it. It stays inside the trees. It flits in and out. But we just got a closer look at it. Okay. Darren will insert my... <gasps> oh my god! Oh, oh. Did it get out? It's nope, gone. it's still inside. Um, no, is it still a... inside? That was just <laughs> Just a black cat. Did you get that on video? <laughs> we were. In there was a black cat chickadee in, in our, our car. In our car. <laughs> okay, so I, I will show you a really bad picture of it. I didn't think. Well, to. maybe I can get it now. Anyway, it, Darren will insert. Okay. He's right there. He's in that little tree. Right there. Um, oh. Darren will insert my really bad picture, but it is good enough for us to tell that we just saw our first. Boreal chickadee. Boreal chickadee. It took us 20 minutes, but we finally got enough of a look at it that I'm positive that's what it is. So that was super exciting. 
actually feel like we need to revisit that for just a minute. So we were busy trying to tell you about the boreal chickadee that we just saw. And through my open window. A black capped chickadee flew in the window. Totally. Around, the car. around and, in the and car. It, it got stuck. It went back here. It went to that window. And the car's running, but I was so, so I opened my door and ducked. And it didn't go out right away. I looked back and there it was. And then I finally ducked and opened my door and it flew out. And that poor little guy. Is he still there? still sitting right there. Little the pine tree. He's doing a little bit of what the hell was happening. I hope he's okay. Yeah, it was so totally scared. an accident. Okay, the other news that we have to report. Saw a hoary red pole. Like clear as day. And I was so upset because I missed the photo. <laughs> and then mom is like, well, there's a really nice, um, it's, just a, it's just a red pole, but it's sitting posed so nicely on that branch. Yeah, it wasn't just a red pole. It was the one we had just gotten. So I got an awesome picture of it. It was spectacular. It was, so, what'd you think of the bog, mom? Oh, I loved it. Love yeah, it. I, I, you know, yeah, um, and I would be excited to come back again in a different season. Yeah, yes. yeah, it's great up here. Yes. <laughs> All right, the Coon Rapids Dam Regional Park. This is an Anoka County Park. So, let to see what we find here. All right, well that was fun. I uh, saw some rock pigeons, um, posed up pretty closely actually. And then also had some common mergansers out on the water. And then I also was able to find a common golden eye, actually a number of cold, common golden eyes, but uh, a lot of fun and uh, also just nice to be out. Again, it has been a good day. I had a chance to see um, some snow geese, um, but I only was able to look at them through a fence, so I'm not sure that my photos are going to work very well. But uh, it was kind of cool to see snow geese, they don't usually show up in this area. And uh, also had a really good look at a northern flicker, and I think I have some, a good photo of that. And then I had some European starling pictures that were good, but not great. And I think I got some excellent ones. So it's been great. All right, Aaron, we decided to do a Sunday drive, right? We did. And one of the things I was hoping to find today was a raptor, right? Yes. And what have we found? A pretty cool raptor. Yeah, a peregrine falcon, which is very cool. We've seen a peregrine falcon before, but not really since we've been birding. So well, and not in Minnesota. Not Minnesota. That's we true saw too. We in Yellowstone. Yeah. So uh, I'm I'm cool. really excited about that. Yeah. Friends, well, it's the last day of February, so I have a limited uh, opportunity to get a final good shot or two on a couple of birds. So uh, I'm out and about, and we're going to see what we can capture. Well, that was pretty fun. Um, there were four, if you count the dark eyed juncos, there are four different kinds of sparrows and some common red poles, and they were actually pretty uh, cooperative. Uh, not real skittish, so um, I saw some white crowned sparrows, some American tree sparrows, and some house sparrows. Um, that was fun. Got some good shots. Yeah, we can't let February pass us by without, you know, a little shout out to our friend, the black capped chickadee. Yes. Who <laughs> got a little misdirected. 
and scared the living daylights out of me. And I just happened to be talking to the camera when it happened. So we have the whole thing on video. That was probably my favorite burning moment of the month. <laughs> it's the first time I've been out burning <laughs> and actually got to count a bird in our car. <laughs> So and pretty cool. And I'm happy to say we did confirm, like, before we left, we know he recovered. Yep, he moved over to a tree and sat yes. for probably five minutes. He was a little discombobulated, I think. And then a friend of his showed up, and then pretty soon the two of them took off. And he didn't look any worse <laughs> for the wear, but I know he was a little turned around when he got inside our car. There was so only funny. one window open. It was very, very, very funny.